Hello everyone, in this video we are gonna be talking about drug allergy or drug hypersensitivity. Drug allergy is an abnormal immune response to a medication, okay? It occurs when the immune system mistakenly identifies a drug as a harmful substance, or we call it allergen, and produces antibodies against it. This immune reaction can lead to a range of symptoms, from mild to severe, and can occur with almost any medication including prescription, over-the-counter, and sometimes herbal or dietary supplements. Drug allergy symptoms can vary widely depending on the individual's immune response and the type of drug involved. They can occur within minutes to sometimes hours after taking the medication or even a few days later. The most common symptom of drug allergy is skin reactions that can be rash, that is red and itchy, hives or urticaria that arise itchy wells on the skin and sometimes undue edema that are swelling under the skin, especially around the eyes, lips and face. The second common symptom happen in our respiratory system. It can be sneezing and runny noise, coughing or sometimes shortness of breath. Gastrointestinal symptoms can sometimes happen like nausea, vomiting and diarrhea, or that can be cardiovascular symptoms like palpitation, dizziness, and fainting. And in some more severe cases that can be a systemic reaction like severe difficulty breathing, drop in blood pressure, and sometimes loss of consciousness. There are some severe and less common symptoms that can happen in this kind of patient like anaphylaxis, uh, or sometimes Steven Johnson syndrome or SJS and toxic epidermal necrolysis or TEN, those are severe skin reactions characterized by widespread skin peeling, blistering, and damage to mucous membranes. Serum sickness, that is an immune complex mediated reaction that can occur one to three weeks after exposure or sometimes hemolytic anemia uh, that is defined as the destruction of red blood cells and sometimes acute interstitial nephritis that is defined as inflammation of the kidneys that may cause fever, rash, and sometimes changes in urination. To manage these reactions, different classes of medication are used and each targeting various symptoms and underlying processes. The first and the most commonly used medication for allergic reactions are antihistamines. They work by blocking the action of histamine that is a chemical released by the immune system during an allergic reaction. There are two major types of antihistamine. The first generation such as different hydramine, chlorpheniramine, and hydroxyzine. And the second generation is cetirizine, loratadine, and fexofenidine. Second generation are less likely to cause drowsiness and they are far more better for long-term use. The second class of medication are corticosteroid. They work by reducing inflammation and suppress the immune response and making them effective for more severe or persistent allergic reactions. This type of medication are available in the form of oral, topical, inhalation and intravenous. They reduce inflammation, etching, redness and swelling. But be careful, long-term use of corticosteroid can lead to side effects such as weight gain, high blood pressure, osteoporosis, diabetes, cataract, and sometimes increased risk of infections. The third class of medication is epinephrine or adrenaline. This is the first line treatment for severe allergic reaction, particularly anaphylaxis, that is a potentially life-threatening condition. Epinephrine is given as an intramuscular injection, often with an auto-injector like an EpiPen. It rapidly reverses the symptom of anaphylaxis by constricting blood vessels and rising blood pressure and relaxing airy muscles and reducing swelling. It's more important that epinephrine should be administered immediately during anaphylactic reaction under the supervision of the doctor. Another type of medication for drug allergy is the congestants. They relieve nasal congestion and are often used in combination with antihistamines. They are available as oral tablets, syrups, or nasal sprays. They relieve nasal congestion, sinus pressure, 
and related symptoms caused by allergies. Another less common medication is locuterion receptor antagonists. These medications block locuterions. They are chemicals that promote inflammation and cause allergy symptoms. Mast cell stabilizers prevent the release of histamine and other chemicals from mast cells, which are involved in allergic reactions. Mast cell stabilizers prevent the release of histamine and other chemicals from mast cells, which are involved in allergic reactions. Another method of treatment is immunotherapy. This is a long-term treatment that gradually desensitizes the immune system to allergens. They are usually effective for allergies to pollen, dust mites, animal dander, and insect stings, but they are not commonly used for food allergies. And the last type of medications are bronchodilators. They are primarily used for allergic asthma to relax the muscles around the airways. Some examples of this kind of medication are short-acting beta agonists or SAVAs like albuterol or ventolin and long-acting beta agonists or LABA like salmeterol or cerevent. They provide quick relief from bronchospasm and wheezing during allergic asthma attacks, but sometimes they can cause rapid heartbeat, nervousness, headache, and tremors.